Watch you guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called System Doctor 2014, and as you can see, it's another one of those lame fake uh, rogues that are doing the rounds. This acts as a some sort of malware, come uh, antivirus program. You can see it's done a fake scan here and says that I'm heavily infected with these types of infections, and uh, it's trying to state that this program can remove it. Now, if we did the same scan again. Uh, you'd get all the same results and it looks exactly the same it's just a con really to try and make you pay for this product and uh, we don't want to do that so let's have a look at the actual program itself as you can see they look quite convincing uh, but they are fake and uh, what they're trying to do is make it look convincing so you purchase it and you've got all the usual stuff that you would have on a normal program except this is just a fake uh, program so let's have a look at the support center here this takes you to a page to convince you even more that this is an actual um, a real legitimate program but it is actually a scamming program to con you out of your money so let's uh, remove this from the system as you can see here it does the normal stuff it stops you from using task manager and uh, all the other tools that you would need to kill the process and to get it off the system like command prompts and stuff like that and uh, also blocks the internet as well and you'll see here it will just block this up but it doesn't block da direct download links and I'll do that in a second and show you how to remove it and the best way to remove these is in safe mobile networking and if you don't know how to get into safe mobile networking I'll show you how to do that on the screen right now you just follow those instructions and then copy what I'm doing here and you should be good to go or you can just run malware bytes from there if it's not running okay and that will remove it for you let's have a look at the icon on the desktop here as you can see it's saying it's in the roaming folder so let's have a look at that you will need to uh, show hidden files and folders and drives by putting a tick in here or the dot in there and remove the tick from hide extensions to known file types once you're there you want to go to the uh, user account that's infected and you should now see this app data folder and there's the roaming folder and there is the culprit there now yours may be a different letter or numbers uh, but it would be in the same place okay and that's it there so you you won't be able to remove this right now you could just rename and remove uh, reboot this and it will stop it running I'll show you another way of doing it as well Let's have a look at the actual license key so we can put the license key in to register it. So the license key would go in here and uh, the license key you see on the screen now should register this and you should be allowed to run Malwarebytes straight off from the desktop. That's another way to do it. If that doesn't work I'll show you another way just quickly just to make sure. So what we're going to do here is open up our browser and we're going to go up to the top here I'm going to just remove that first part there so we've got http colon forward slash forward slash and then we're going to do live dot sys internals dot com forward slash p r o c e x p dot e x e that's process explorer hit that and then once you push it enter you want to click on this ignore warnings okay and it will pop up on the screen it's going to save this to the desktop and once we downloaded that I'm going to hit close close this off and there is our program we should be able to run this now if it stops it don't worry we can rename this so we'll try and rename it I'm going to rename this I explore Explorer like that and then click run and it stopped that so we'll try something else we'll try win log on and there we go except so one of them did work eventually we got there 
So here we have the actual program running now and you can find your actual uh, program that's running here as you can see and we're going to kill this off. If you can't do that you can use the target part to uh, remove the process as well. So what I'm going to do here is uh, kill the process and delete. Like so. And that's now gone. Can now close that off. Let's go back to our location here and see if everything has now been removed from there. Okay, there's the actual culprit. It's killed the process, so we're just going to delete this folder. And that is that one gone. We can delete this as well and tidy up a bit. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so that's basically that. Now what you want to do is go on your internet. You should be able to get back on the internet now. And then you want to go to Malwarebytes and download that and run that program, okay? Once you've downloaded that and run a scan with that, you should be good to go, okay? So hit the download button and run a scan with Malwarebytes. And that's pretty much it. They're pretty lame and pretty easy to remove, okay? And I think that one's done. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys, and also show your support by rating and favoriting all my videos. And I'll do my best to make more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.